All right, let's do this. I went 2-1 last week, but it would have been 3-0 had Jamal Williams not given himself up when the Lions let him score. Smart play, bad break. Next time, Jamal, get that tutty. Anyway, let's dive in. A couple weeks back, not sure if you remember, I trashed the Colts for losing to the Raiders. I swore them off. Said I'd never pick them again. But Frank, Marlon, and Jacoby, I just can't quit you. Indy is giving one point at home to a Texans team that just toppled the Chiefs. But the Colts are coming off a bye, and Houston is on its second road trip in as many weeks. Houston's pass rush was effective against Mahomes, but Indy's O-line is the best in the NFL. It should open plenty of holes for Marlon Mack. He's the player to watch. I'm taking Indy in my lock of the week, 27 to 23. I've rolled with the Saints the last two weeks, and they've delivered. In their last four games, they're 4-0 against the spread. They're road underdogs, again, getting three against the Bears. And I just don't think whoever the Bears throw out there at quarterback can compete with this defense. The Saints just have too many weapons. I've got them beating the Bears 23 to 20. For my over under, there's a line I love even more. You've got a Vikings team that just hung 38 on Philly and is going up against a myth line squad who thinks they should have won. The over under is sitting at 45 and a half. Both these teams are known for their defenses, but they're dome teams and I think Dalvin Cook and Matt Stafford are gonna be key players in lighting up the scoreboard. I've got the Lions winning 30 to 26 and hitting that over. Hey sports fans, you want to see more videos like this? Check out some of our other videos right here, and if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And stick with Sports Pulse, your heartbeat to what's trending in sports.